time to tackle the chimp test and see if I'm really better than a chimp. Yeah, that was my monkey noise. Wasn't very good. But why are we here and doing this test? Well, I've tasked myself with getting 100% for all the human benchmark tests using code because I sure as hell can't get 100% myself. So to start out, let's see what I can get as a human for the chimp test. Wow, I'm super happy with this score. I guess my memory is way better than my reflexes. All right, now how can we get the rest of the percentage with a little bit of Python? So I'd like for the code to do basically what we do as a human, which is look at the numbers and memorize the positions. Lucky for computers, their memory tends to be pretty good. So all I need to do is figure out what the maximum number of numbers there could be. Then we just need our program to memorize the positions of however many numbers there could be. All right, so we know the maximum number now is 40 because it's an eight by five grid. So if we can get all 40, we should get 100%. So let's give it a shot. The simplest way to do this I can think of is to use screen. This is a function that takes an image and checks if it's on the screen. If it is, it will return the coordinates for the image. I could try to write some algorithm or computer vision program to understand numbers on the screen, but that sounds kind of hard and like it'll take a long time. If you really wanna see me try and figure that out, let me know. All right, time to get 40 images, I guess. <laughs> Done, okay, that took way too long. Okay, so to test this out, we're gonna see if the program can see the first number on the screen and move the mouse to it. Brilliant, it works. Now, what if it looks for all of them on the screen and clicks them? Okay, hell yeah, that, that actually worked. Wow, this is going way better than I expected. So I did forget about the continue button, so let's get the coordinates for that and then just click it whenever we've finished a round. All right, so now that we know we can do a round, we're going to set the target to one, then get the corresponding image and see if it's on the screen. This is what we've already been doing. If it is on the screen, we'll append the coordinates to an array. Otherwise, we'll exit the loop. Then we'll loop over the coordinates and click each box. The reason this works so well is because the game keeps showing the numbers until the first one is pressed. So we basically have an unlimited amount of time. So it doesn't really even need to be that fast. So let's run it. Go. Oh no, oh no, 11. What the, f what the fuck is wrong with 11? Okay, let's get the 11 image again and test it out. Turns out there was some small white corner for the 11 and when I replaced it, I ended up replacing it with the hover version of 11 so the border was white instead of the light blue. So yeah, it should be good now. The test plays audio each time you click on one so enjoy the incredible music of the chimp test.
All right, so still not 100% because this is the average. So let's run this again on the actual account. Okay, hell yeah, we did it. <laughs> Only five more tests to go to get 100%. So just like in the last video where we beat the aim trainer, you can really cheat on this one. Again, we're doing all this stuff with code anyways, but I did find when I was looking through the HTML that everything in here is actually labeled with a data value. So as it turns out, you can just run some simple JavaScript in the browser and you can finish the game fast, <laughs> like this fast. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. We're going to tackle yet another test soon. And as promised, we're going to look into some AI stuff soon. The first thing we're going to tackle there is probably making an AI for Flappy Bird. I know it's been done by a number of people online already, but I wanted to learn for myself so I can hopefully make sure you all understand how it works too. So that'll probably be uh, a multi-part series anyways. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember, I'm Jake. You're awesome. This has been Beating the Chimp Test. We're better than chimps. <laughs> Cheers.